Hey Sag, welcome to your reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Thank you so, so much for joining for another reading. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for joining me once again. So I'm going to pull three cards to get the overall energy for you Sagittarius. And then I'm going to clarify that using an oracle and a tarot. Okay, you have control. It says releasing, taking back power, kinky in the bedroom. Hmm. Someone could be trying to control you or get you to do something that benefits them. You could be in a season of letting go of some type of control, releasing, releasing control, um, not trying to force things to be a certain way let's see you have gifts surprises presents openings hmm someone could be if you're in a relationship um or rom a romantic connection and it has progressed okay someone could be trying to surprise you in a bedroom setting okay with gifts okay there could be a surprise there could be an unexpected gift that you're receiving okay let's see and you have twin flame spiritual alignment effortless karmic hmm so you could be receiving a gift from your significant other okay and I, I feel like this is something that will make you very, very happy, uh, Sagittarius. Something that may catch you off guard. It may come as a surprise to you um, how something is being presented to you. Hmm. Someone could be actually opening up to you as well. Someone is also letting go of some type of control issues. Someone wants to let go of some type of control issues. But I feel like if, if this is someone else letting go of control issues in a partnership uh Sagittarius um this is going to be a relief for this person hmm I want to get one more let's get one more you have a dark male okay darker than lighter okay this this male could have darker hair darker eyes darker skin okay um he could wear dark darker um clothing he could drive a dark car as I'm getting, like black or like a dark blue car. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was intense, uh, Sagittarius. I'm going to go ahead and get the tea on the situation. And then we're going to clarify this energy using the tarot, you guys. What does Sagittarius need to know? Let's go ahead and get the tea on the situation. Let's see what is happening behind the scenes. Because this seems really nice. Okay, you have ego. It says her ego. Ego getting in the way of a relationship. I feel like somebody could be trying to like spice things up in a relationship for some reason here with this ego. Um, someone is realizing that their ego, their pride has been getting getting in the way of a connection. It looks to be a it looks to be a good connection. It looks to be a decent connection here, especially with the twin twin flame card. Something is effortless. Something um, is aligning spiritually with you and someone else. Let's see. What happens after ego? You have unbothered. Hmm. You know what, Sagittarius? I feel like um, if this is someone that you realize uh, their ego is getting in the way of a connection that you and them have, um, I feel like you're unbothered by these. I feel like um, you're not letting something get to you. And I feel like this makes you even more attractive, uh, Sagittarius. Someone is all in their ego and you realize like that's not your problem. You know, that is not your, it's not your responsibility to um, allow what someone else has going on to affect you. And I feel like this is very mature of you. And I feel like Sagittarius, this is causing someone to really take a, a hard look at themselves okay so there's someone who could want to um have a word with you open up with you okay and this can be seen as a gift okay um it could be surprising you with something or actually bringing you a gift um and it, it has a lot to do with them feeling guilty someone feels guilty about you know how they went about something or how they allow you know their feelings uh to negatively affect 
you and them in some way, okay? Whether this is something small or, or big, I feel like someone's ego got in the way of something having a better outcome, okay? And I feel like you're unbothered by it. And I feel like this is pissing somebody off or this pisses people off, <laughs> Sagittarius. But I feel like in your relationship, if you're in a relationship or dating, I feel like someone is realizing that their ego is like fucking things up between you and them, okay? Or even in all of their relationships, all of their connections, they realize that, you know, their ego needs to be balanced out, okay? What happens after I'm bothered? You could be on vacation, uh, Sagittarius. You have photo proof, getting evidence. Damn, I feel like um Sagittarius, there is somebody here in your energy. This could be another this could be a feminine energy. Doesn't have to be, but with this photo proof getting evidence, and I see someone's watching you and they see that you're like unbothered. Um, like someone, I don't I don't know what they were expecting to see. You know, but it's like the evidence that they're getting is it, showing that you're, you know, taking care of yourself. You know, you could be spending spending time outdoors. OK, um, just minding your business. Uh, Sagittarius is, is the evidence that they're getting. Like they're taking pictures of you <laughs> minding your business. If they're not taking pictures, you they're seeing you. Someone is seeing you out or uh, this could be on social media as well. Someone is seeing you out on social media. Um, or just out in real life and they just see that you're so unbothered. I don't know if someone has had been, you know, uh, thinking that things were going south for you. I don't know. Um, let's see what's going on after this. Let's see what happens at the photo proof. Why is this here on um, phase? Oh my goodness. Sagittarius, I'm getting this vibe like you don't care who watching. Like you don't care who watching. Like you're going to live your best life. You're not faced by, you know, something that's happening around you, something that that is happening, something that's being said about you. Um you really don't give a fuck. Is is what I'm getting here. Um Sagittarius because with this getting evidence, it's around about unfazed and unbothered. And someone is seeing you Seeing you like, um, I feel like living in your truth, like just being yourself. Um, and you're not apologizing for being yourself. You're not, uh, you're not hiding yourself. I just see you stepping out. Um, this could be you stepping out physically. This could be you letting go of the, of control. Okay. Especially with this control card release and taking back your power. And I feel like this is what people are seeing, or this is what this person is seeing. They're seeing you take back your power. They, they're they seeing you in this unbothered energy, this unfazed energy. And this is all the proof that they can get. Like, they cannot have proof. They, they don't have proof that, you know, you're falling apart. Even if you have gone through a tough time, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like you're coming out of that or you've, you've already gone through that to the point where you've grown from it. Okay, you learned the lessons that you needed to learn from it. Wow, and I still see that you could be on phase. You could be sipping your tea, okay? You could be at a pool. I'm planning on going there with some type of water, okay? And I see all this water here. Hmm. Sagittarius, you could have gotten outside of your ego, okay? Um, I just see you releasing something, letting something go. Hmm. And something is moving, moving on for the better. So what happens after on phase? Because I just see... Um, you could be in your own little bubble, okay? And it doesn't mean that you're antisocial. It just means that, okay, you you are you, Sagittarius, and you can only be yourself. So it's like whatever's happening outside of you, you can sympathize with it, you can empathize with it, but ultimately you're living your life, okay? What happens after unfazed? What happens after unfazed? You have ignored. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. So I'm I'm getting like with this ego card, I feel like if you're in a in a connection or dealing with someone, okay, or dating Sagittarius, I feel like this person had a big ego or has a big ego. And someone is realizing that their ego or their their negative aspect the negative aspects of their ego will will not affect you. Okay. They're not going to affect you. You're not going to allow um whatever trauma this person has, whatever um Whatever shit they got going on within themselves affect your life, okay? And I feel like this person could feel ignored. You know, this person could feel like you don't want to be bothered with them. You could, you, you could feel unfazed by them. And I feel like this is true. I feel like um, 
in the past, Sagittarius, um, the reason why you're in this energy in the past, because you put a lot, you invested a lot of your energy into, um, the the well-being and the healing of other people but you needed to take care of yourself and there needed to be some type of balance and i see this control here like you could have tried to control when someone let go of something okay someone someone could have tried to force you to let go of something okay when you weren't ready or you know something like that sagittarius so i just feel like you're in this period of being unbothered, being unfazed, ignoring situations that don't involve you, okay? It doesn't mean that you don't care. It just means that you're minding your business and, you know, you're you're putting, um, you're, you're pouring into your own cup in this season. And I feel like this is what other people see. I feel like this is what this person sees, okay? And I also feel like there is a feminine energy. I see this dark male and I feel like that has a lot to do with the relationship, okay? Whether this is you or your person, but, um... I feel like there could be a feminine energy here because I'm, I'm seeing all these females here in the what's the tea deck and I just feel like there's a feminine energy that it sees you in this energy as well like Sagittarius is so unbothered like they're so unfazed by what's going on like someone admires this I feel like this person admires this about you but at the same time it's like they're wondering how how are you like this okay let's see what happens after ignoring moving on oh wow it says thank you next i just feel like sagittarius you're not putting a lot of your energy you're not putting all of your energy or any energy at all into um a situation that isn't healthy for you that isn't um going to provide stability for you a peace of mind for you and i just feel like those are the situations that you're ignoring no matter where they come from or what they are because you've invested a lot of time into um, trying to control things, uh, trying to fix things. Um, and it's time for you to be in this season of receiving, okay? Of receiving something um, and, and letting go of this control. Freeing yourself from trying to control everything and just being in your own energy. Okay, what happens after moving on? You, you have scarcity tactics. Hmm, yeah, I feel like uh, Sagittarius, there's someone here who feels like you're moving on because of how you're coming off. They feel like um, because you're unbothered, because you're unfazed, because you seem to be ignoring something that you're moving on. And this person is, uh, I feel like they're going to try to um, do something to surprise you. They're going to open up to you. They're going to come at you in a way where... It's like they're trying to stop you from moving on. Let's see. What happens after scarcity tactics? Because they feel like um, whatever they have with you or whatever connection they have with you is like on the rocks or it's on the line. Let's see. What happens after scarcity tactics? Same shit, different day. So Sagittarius, I feel like, okay, if you've been dealing with someone and you've gotten to the, the phase where you're unbothered, where you're on phase, where you're ignoring something, it's because it's something that's not already happened before, okay? Whether this is with a past person or with the same person, like, you know what's next. It's like the same shit, different days. So it's like someone hasn't changed, okay? And it could have a lot to do with somebody's ego. Let's see. So um, a game of chess or checkers could be significant, okay? Someone could be good at that. Let's see. What happens after the same shit, different day? Hmm. What happens after this? Reflecting. Huh. Somebody is meditating. Wait a minute. Okay. Someone is thinking about something not changing. Someone is someone is in a deep deep reflection mode. Whether this is you with or you and this other person. But I feel like this could be this other person. It could be you. You could be thinking about, you know, how things haven't changed, okay? Or how things need to change. And I and I feel like there's someone here who is meditating. Like they're they're trying to like get themselves together. They're trying to better someone wants to better themselves. Hmm. Someone wants to better themselves, Sagittarius. I see you bettering yourself. You could have inspired someone to also better themselves here because I feel like um, you're taking your feelings off the table uh, to the point to where it protects you. It protects your heart. 
okay like i said it doesn't mean that you know you don't care it doesn't mean that you're cold hearted it just means that there's a season for everything and i feel like in this season you're pouring into your own cup okay because i feel like you have poured into the cup of others okay and things did not change okay and then you have to uh look within yourself so this could definitely be you in a reflective mode and i also see someone else in a reflective mode someone is reflecting over you and you and the, them and the connection that y'all share okay someone is seeing a connection as a gift okay wow Someone wants to connect. Let's get some signs. You have Gemini. You have Virgo. You have Aquarius. Cancer, someone wants to discuss something about doing something during the daytime. You have Gemini, hmm. Someone wants to go somewhere during the daytime, and you have Leo, yeah. Someone wants to um, be able to see something or show you something. Let's see, let's get some love messages. The Sagittarius need to know you have attraction. Yeah, there's a strong attraction that someone um has for you, um, Sagittarius. And it's very difficult for this person to for it not to show. Like it's going to show. Like this person cannot help but um show their attraction towards you. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I feel like that's what you're doing because you're unfazed by by certain things. You're enjoying the moment. Okay. Whatever that moment is, you're making the best out of that moment or those moments. And this makes you irresistible, uh Sagittarius. I'm telling you. Let's see. Why is attraction here for Sag? Ooh, let's see. You have it is safe for you to love and you have very soon it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all hmm and it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel like someone is um not able to like hide their feelings for you um if you uh talk to this person you can hear it in their voice okay if you see this person you can see it in their eyes um that this person wants to be close to you this person wants to be next to you and i see this twin flame energy with control and i feel like it's hard for this person to even control you know that aspect of them when it comes to you because someone feels aligned with you someone feels like something is effortless and something is easy in in a good way when it comes to you like something feels very natural uh when it comes to you sagittarius hmm some tarot you guys hmm knight of wands yeah someone is highly attracted to you whether you are unbothered unfazed ignoring someone is um very attracted to you and i feel like this makes you more more attractive uh sagittarius because it shows that you have your own thing going on sagittarius with this knight of wands Okay, I, I see that you're uh, focused on going after something and it could take some time to create. I feel like you could, could be creating something or preparing to create something. Someone needs to get their ego in check. And I feel like you've, uh, you've spoken about this. Wow, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you've spoken about this. Okay, this is something that has been um, discussed. And I feel like someone is seeing the truth. Like with this photo proof, Sagittarius, someone is seeing the truth. Someone is seeing that you're truly like unbothered by something. Like something does not get to you. If it got to you in the past, it doesn't get to you now. Um, I just feel like your perspective has changed. Okay. Your mind has changed. Your mind has matured. Okay. There could also be a, uh, some type of verbal communication dealing with an opportunity. Um, in a creative project okay what happens after the ace of swords mm. oh wow 
Yeah, I feel like someone truly admires you. Someone truly admires what they see. Someone truly admires, you know, how you handle yourself, how you carry yourself, okay? How you look, okay? With this Leo energy coming out strong here. You got Leo in strength here. Lots of uh, fire coming out here with what someone sees, okay? And someone is unfazed by it. So, Sagittarius, someone could feel like, I feel multiple people, a couple people at least, could feel like uh, you're unfazed by their admiration for you, okay? Um, so, you could have uh, two or more people who are attracted to you, who are romantically attracted to you, and they could feel like you are unfazed by them. You are unfazed by uh, whatever crush, whatever... Um, what's the word <laughs> whatever hmm whatever efforts okay i see effortless here whatever efforts that they're putting in towards you um this person or these people could feel as though you don't want anything to do with with them or you know it, it could just really uh affect someone's ego here let's see what happens after strength what happens after strength Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like um, there's someone here who is frustrated, uh, Sagittarius, about connecting with you, um, about even telling you something, telling you what they think, telling you how they feel. Um, it's something dealing with romance. Something dealing with love is happening here. But someone is... Uh, it's in their head. Someone is in their head about something that happened between you and them. Something. Someone is in their head about opening up. Okay. Um. Someone is afraid to open up with this nine of swords. Okay. Someone is having a lot of thoughts about a romantic connection, about working with you. Okay. And someone feels like you're unfazed by it. This could be a uh, Leo, uh, Aries, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see. What happens after the Nine of Swords? Hmm. Ignoring for sure. Like someone feels very ignored. Someone feels like what they say is getting ignored. Hmm. Someone feels like when they open up, you know, they end, they end up feeling ignored. Or someone feels like if they open up, they will be ignored. Wow. Because someone hasn't opened up. I feel like someone hasn't opened up. Someone is ignoring the the feeling that they have to open up like someone has a lot on their mind that they need to release um but someone is trying to control <laughs> someone is trying to control their thoughts someone is trying to control their feelings and the feelings that they have regarding opening up they they want to share how they feel someone wants to share the truth about how they feel about the attraction that they feel okay um so if you're with someone and this person hasn't really opened up or they um, they've had a hard time opening up. This person has so much more that, you know, that crosses their mind that they, they really want to let out. Okay. Um, it's building up. And if this is someone that you're at a distance from, okay. Someone that you're not in a connection with. Okay. Or, or someone that you've had some type of past dealing with. I don't see the six of cups. So this could be someone, um, Sagittarius that has a strong attraction to you, but nothing was ever official between you and them. Let's see. What happens after the four cups? It says moving on. Thank you. Next. Wow. Let's see. Hmm. Page of wands. Yeah, I feel like there's uh, something new uh, for you, Sagittarius, or there's something new that has your attention. Hmm. You could be connected to a Leo, a Gemini, a Gemini, a Virgo, an Aquarius, a Cancer. And I see Leo in the tarot as well. Let's see. What happens after the page of ones? I feel like you're learning something new. I feel like you're learning how to handle a situation. But I feel like someone is, is going to try to present something new to you. Someone is trying to come to you in a different way. Or they're trying to uh, approach you in a way that is not like the past. Or is not like um, something that is usual. Because I see gifts here with surprises and presents and openings. So I feel like someone is going to open up to you or, or approach you in a way that is not necessarily expected. And it, and it, and it's coming from a, a place of scarcity. It's coming from a place of them feeling as though, 
um, like time is running out or, you know, they won't get this chance again, won't have this opportunity again. So someone could be nervous as well. I feel like um, a very nervous energy, especially with the page of ones, because this feels like new territory to this person, to you, Sagittarius. Let's see. Oh, wow. You have the sun. Hmm, that, that, that is something serious. Like, I feel like, um, Sagittarius, you could feel like, uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This other person could feel like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, someone wants to tell the truth. Someone wants to shine light on a situation. Someone wants to, um, to open up. Someone wants you to know, you know, what they're thinking, what they're feeling. Okay. Um, and most of all, they don't care if anyone sees, um, sees this. Someone is not caring if anyone sees this. Wow. With scarcity tactics. Wow. Something is happening and it's clear to see for you, Sage. What happens after the sun? Ooh, you got the knight of cups. Same shit, different day. Wow. With the knight of cups. So, uh, there's somebody here, uh, Sagittarius, especially with this Knight of Cups. This is someone who is emotionally invested, okay? And I feel like this Knight of Cups, this is someone who is wanting to be different, okay? They're wanting to change. They're wanting to, um, they're wanting to pour into, a, a connection differently, okay? I see same shit different day. And this Knight of Cups is steadily approaching, so I feel like this Knight of Cups wants to change. I feel like this Knight of Cups could be the person that is in in a deep reflection. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer. It could be any sign, but um, this person is emotionally invested in something, okay? And they want something to show, okay? And I feel like this person is still learning. This person is still learning about relationships here they're learning how to approach uh, certain situations. Wow. And someone is uh, in deep reflection about this. Let's see. What happens after the Knight of Cups? Hmm. You got the Ten of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is still learning. Okay? And I feel like someone could be working on healing a connection or healing a family situation, um, healing a home environment. Um, I feel like this person is wanting to show up differently. They're wanting to work with you. They're wanting to um, to negotiate, okay? This definitely could be an earth sign coming in with this negotiation, okay? Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, I see Aquarius here, Gemini, Libra. It could be air and earth coming in strong here with this negotiation. Someone wants to work with you. Um, someone wants to wants your input. They want your opinion. They want to know how you feel um, because everyone is working together, okay? And I feel like someone wants to work together so that they can build something here. Wow. And someone is in deep reflection about this. Let's get your soul's journey. Oh. You have friendship sliding out. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So friendship could be very significant um, in this message, okay? Um, there could be a friend that is in your life for a certain purpose. And this, is, this could be being revealed to you at this time, Sagittarius. Why is friendship here? You have forgiveness, okay? It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So there could be a friend, Sagittarius, that you're needing to forgive, okay? That you're needing to have a have a chat with, um, have a heart-to-heart a -heart with, uh, Sagittarius, okay? Friendship is a theme here. And forgiveness is also a theme here. So there's someone that um, you may need to forgive. And I see there's someone that could be working on fixing something or negotiating or um, getting something straightened out, dealing with an agreement or dealing with a, a circle that is supposed to be working together of you and someone or you and others are supposed to be working to, working together to build something, whether this is a home, whether this is dealing with family, with work, there is something um, that requires your input, Sagittarius, and your input is very important on this matter. Wow, this definitely could be dealing with the home. Some of you could be getting a home built, okay? Let's see. And you have Delph here. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So uh, there could have been, there could have been an ending in a friendship as well. You could have lost a friend, okay? A friend could have passed away. Um, there is definitely forgiveness, okay? There could have been a temporary ending to a friendship, to a relationship. Let's get one more. 
something ended here because you have moving on next and it's dealing with health okay it says i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my so, so I feel like you're putting an end to a uh, certain uh, health habits or, or certain things that you're doing regarding your health. I feel like you you're changing things about your health. Okay, wow. And I feel like there's a thing for you to forgive yourself for some type of ending. Yeah, it says I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love with forgiveness. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. And whatever this is, it infect, it affected your health in some type of way, um, Sagittarius. So I feel like if something ended, you could have blamed yourself for something ending, um, for, you know, how things happen. And this requires for you to forgive yourself. Like, stop being so hard on yourself regarding the situation, Sag. You have a pathway. Tell me why the pathway is here for Sage. You could be born December 3rd, December 5th, December 14th, December 1st, December 4th. A message of concern. Let's see. What happens after a message of concern? What is this message dealing with? Despair. Oh, someone could need your help or someone could be uh, reaching out to you, Sagittarius. And this may be difficult news to hear. Let's see. Hmm, someone, someone could be concerned about you, Sagittarius. Let's see. What happens after despair? You have a house. So there is a house. There could be a message dealing with the home, okay? Especially with the Three of Pentacles and this reflection. Um, This information could have something to do with the house or someone's house, okay? Someone could be in despair about a house or could be uh, stressed out about a home. Let's get some hidden truth. Give me three for a sash. Let me pick up on this other energy here. Um, There's a, a romantic connection here. Let's see. I love you unconditionally. There's someone here who loves you unconditionally, and this it's the absolute truth. Like they're highly attracted to you in the physical. They're attracted to you mentally. They're attracted to you romantically. Let's get another. The attraction is real. It says sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow. <laughs> someone cannot sleep. And I see this nine of swords. Like someone literally stays awake at night thinking about you, thinking about. I feel like with this Ace of Swords and this Nine of Swords in the middle of strength, I feel like th they're thinking about how um, how amazing you are, how truthful you are, how honest you are. You may be brutally honest, Sagittarius, but they're thinking about this as a truth and they're romantically attracted to you. Let's get another. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Wow. So uh, this person blamed you for something, okay? Whether this was indirect or direct, this person blamed you for something that was their fault, okay? Let's see. Let's get your side to this, Sage. I left because you told me to. Wow. So um, this person could have ignored something or um, not opened up because I did feel like someone isn't opening up or someone chose not to open up or, you know, someone is letting something build up. And I feel like even though this person didn't communicate or didn't share whatever this is, it sent you a message like, and then you have moving on. Thank you. Next. Like your actions, someone's actions said goodbye to you. I'm getting with this number eight. And I feel like you walked away from something that wasn't fulfilling. Let's see. And I feel like something else is is um, having your attention. It says, be more selfish. Wow. And I feel like, Sagittarius, that is exactly what you're doing in this period is being more selfish, okay? Putting yourself first. I feel like you could have put yourself last in the past when it comes to your romantic connections, when it came to your even your friendships here, even your work, uh, Sagittarius. And I feel like you're in the season of not being uh, bothered with other things. Uh, pouring into yourself, taking care of yourself, okay? Let's see. Let's get another one. I have so much desire for you with the number one. So the number eight, one, 35, 14, 32, and 20 could be significant. You could be born December 8th. 
uh, December 1st, December 11th, December 18th, December 14th, November 23rd, November 25th, November 28th. So you have a lot of desire for someone, okay? Someone has a lot of desire for you. And I feel like you have so much desire for you, literally, in this season here would be more selfish. I feel like you walked away from something that wasn't fulfilling or, you know, you had to let go of a, di a difficult situation, okay? Regardless of what was communicated, there was still a message that you received, okay, through actions, okay? Whether there were words or not, you received the message through actions that you should walk away from something. And you decided to pour into yourself, Sagittarius. And I feel like in this season, your de your desire for yourself is so strong strong that it makes you even more attractive even more abundant Sagittarius Sag thank you so so much for joining I hope you guys enjoyed the messages that came through this is the Sagittarian goddess and I'll see y'all in the next reading